What's up? Welcome back to Pranji, your one-stop destination for all the latest tech and its updates. This is Nupur and today we have another video where we are going to discuss the role of color spaces in image processing. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button over here for amazing content. Now, let's get started. So, what is a color in the first place? Color refers to an attribute of an object which depends upon number one special characteristics of light sources illuminating the object for example the sun or the lamp number two spectral properties or reflectance of objects and number three spectral characteristics of the sensors of the imaging devices for example the eye or a DSLR camera for examples may include an object shape, texture, smoothness and more. In the digital medium, multiple combinations of color forms an image. Plus, each color has its own value which delivers specific information regarding the image. Moreover, we can change these values as per our requirements. Colors are broadly categorized into two groups, primary and secondary colors. Primary colors refer to the colors that the cone curves absorb differently to produce various color combinations. The three main primary colors include red, green and blue. While secondary colors refer to those colors that are reproduced by combining any two of the primary colors. For example, magenta is formed combining red and blue. Cyan is formed by combining red, green and blue and yellow is formed by combining red and green. Now what are color spaces? Color spaces or models refer to the systems that simplify the specification of colors in a standardized manner. These systems provide a coordinate system and a subspace in it where each color is represented by a single point. The two major types of color spaces include device-based and perception-based color spaces. Device-based color spaces. These color spaces are mainly based on the interior of any device like RGB, CMY and much more. Perception-based color spaces. These spaces are made for interaction like HSI. The most common forms of color spaces according to the chroma graph include RGB or red, green and blue model. This is one of the most commonly used color space and is hardware oriented in nature. It can be found on every color monitor. Using this color space, you can create over 16 million colors. CMY or cyan, magenta and yellow model. This is most commonly used for printing machines, for printing newspapers, magazines and more. It is complementary to RGB and can be subtracted to form colors. For example, if you subtract 1 from R, you will get C. If you subtract 1 from G, you will get M. And if you subtract 1 from B, you will get G. HSI or hue saturation and intensity model. This is a perceptive color space and mainly suits image description and interpretation. It is used by major photo editing and video editing software like Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop and more. It allows decoupling of H and S which are chromatic signals to bring out intensity or the eye signal. In the HSI model, hue represents the impression related to the dominant wavelength of the color stimulus. Saturation expresses the relative color purity or the amount of white light in the color. Intensity again also means brightness. Check out more about color spaces conversations from our blog. The link to which is in the description box below. If you like this video, do hit the like button, comment and share the video. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Cronji for amazing tech and biz content. Contact us today for all your tech related needs and we will surely help you out 
in the most cost effective way. So that was all for this video guys. See you in the next one.